Time now for our ETF spotlight today. We're taking a closer look at technology. We are joined by Kathy Wood, ARC Invest CEO and CIO, rang the opening bell this morning in recognition of the ARC Innovation ETF, crossing $1 billion in assets under management. Nice to see you. Welcome back. Great to see you, Sarah. I'm happy to be back. We've got to start with Tesla because for months <laughs> now, you have said this is a $4,000 stock. Given yes. all the drama over the last few weeks, do you still think that? Yes, actually. Um, our conviction has increased recently because of their new chip. We think they're three years ahead of any other auto manufacturer uh, in two ways. One, uh, very importantly, is the, trip, uh, the chip, and the other is their battery technology. Uh, so, yes, our conviction has increased. What about leadership? whether they're going to go private, the tweets, yeah. I mean, that, it's endless. Yes, that $420 price. We're writing a letter to Elon and the board uh, explaining, actually showing our models, top-down and bottom-up models, showing how we get to 4000 which if you use a 15% discount rate, would be $2,000 today. So that $420 price uh, to us is... Um, uh, too low. Way too low. He's stealing the company if he were to actually get it at that. Huh? Yeah. What's, what is I, this? I, I, and I also think, think about this. If he goes private, what does this mean? He's showing us quarterly statements, right? He'll have to show private equity monthly, and they'll be combing through each line item. And I guarantee you, he will not be able to scale that company the way he wants to. China, trucks, energy storage, he'll have to curtail some of those. And I don't think he wants capital, to do well, that. He wants everybody to roll in with him, including shareholders like you. Yes. So would you just do uh, we that? Would, our ETFs, uh, given what we know of the structure, can't do it, we right? can't do it. Yeah. And so he'd be depriving some of his biggest advocates, his fans, you know, the owners of his cars, of participating in this ride. I, I guess the model that gets you to 4,000, right? Yes. First of all, what is that, a $700 billion market cap? Yes. Yeah, I mean, roughly speaking. There. So, I mean, there's a, there's a distance between here and there. Yes. Can he execute, because it seems basically like the cars are a Trojan horse yeah. for this bigger Without world domination yep. strategy for moving people around uh, and, and energy storage. But can he actually get every step along the way to bridge to that future, even if you thought it was going to happen? Oh, we, we think he's uh, arguably, Google's uh, doing a good job. Uh, but we think Tesla is way ahead of the game. They've got 10 billion miles of data plus. This is an artificial intelligence uh, uh, project. And uh, it is going to take Tesla from 20% gross margins to 80% gross margins. It's a software as a service, transportation as a service model. Uh, and we don't think until very recently, and I know there was a big kerfluffle around the conference calls, but finally, finally, we had some very good questions around autonomous and trucks. Trucks is another very, very big opportunity. Autonomous truck platoons, we think, will transport freight more cheaply than rail. Trucks and rail are the same size market. So another huge opportunity. I mean, they're big ideas, but they then you ideas. have to look at questions like, why doesn't he have a number two when he's staying up at all hours of the night and, and tweeting things that may or may not be well, fully true or fully compliant with the SEC. And what about the board? And do you have confidence that it is being well run? The track record is it's had a history of missing its production targets on all these big things that you're excited about. So um, we were very interested to see that it has 52% of its market. Its market share has gone up from the low 30s to the low 50s. And that one of the most, uh, the, the there are five trade-ins that are the most popular. One of them is a Honda Civic. He is enlarging his market. So we think he's doing an amazing job. I think they, it does seem, uh, according to suppliers, they're ramping to the 6,000 uh, Model 3s per week. Uh, so, so time will tell. When Steve Jobs, if he had, if he had Twitter and if he could have tweeted, uh, what we would have heard was, uh, and he, this is, he did, say this. He said, I'm going thermonuclear. I'm going to spend every penny of Apple's $40 billion to destroy Android. Android is stolen software. So, uh, you know, that probably would have played the same way. This, the, you know, these are visionaries. They're passionate. They see how they're going to change the world and make it a better place. And they see how much uh, 
shorted, short sightedness there is in the market, I think it would behoove him maybe to help us understand, help more people understand the way we hope to with this letter, how this model will scale. Where, where's this letter? Have you released it yet? Is we it? haven't. We're about to either today or tomorrow. They'll probably kill me at work for saying that, but either today or tomorrow, it's finished. And it's a letter you sent to Elon saying, not "Don't yet, go, not yet. Don't we go haven't private. said it. Okay, no, but but that is the message. Right. It's obviously four thousand. Yeah, would mean a lot of upside from here. A lot of upside. Yeah. yeah. Kathy, thank you. Thank for you for coming on and sharing your case, Kathy Wood of Arc, in defense of Tesla.